What's going on everyone? You're back with Jono for another quick math lesson. Today we're going to look at how to solve simultaneous equations, but this time using the process of elimination. So if we've got something like this, we've got two equations at the same time where there is an x and a y term that solves both of them. And we need to work out one variable at a time and sub back in. So we've got two linear relationships at the same time and at some point they intersect. This is called the point of intersection. This is when x and y solve both equations and that's the point we are looking for. So if you can do it graphically that definitely helps out. It might actually make your life a little bit easier but with this elimination trick what we're doing is we're adding both of these together and what that does is it makes a new line. So we've got our two simultaneous linear equations and when we add them together the line that's made goes through that same point of intersection. So we can add them together to get rid of a variable which tells us the x coordinate and that tells us the y coordinate. So once we've got those two things we know where the point of intersection is. So if we have a look at this example here Okay, we can see that the 2y and the minus 2y look pretty similar. And we said we're going to add them together. So we're really looking at eliminating the y terms. So we've just got the x term left. And then we can sub that back into one of our original equations. So just like in substitution, the first thing that we've got to do is label our two equations at the very start. If you don't do this you just lose a mark straight away unfortunately. So I'm going to make the top one one and I'm going to make the bottom one two. Totally fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one and two. So just telling the teacher that that's what you're going to do is really important. If you just make up a new equation out of nowhere you can't get a mark for that. So just tell me exactly what you need to do each time and you will find it very easy to scaffold these questions. So I've got to add every single term. So the 3x and the 5x add together. So I've got 8x plus 2y minus 2y eliminate each other. That's why it's called elimination. And the 17 plus 7 is equal to 24 there. So now I've just got to solve for x. I've divide 8 on both sides, divide 8 on both sides, leaving me with x is equal to 3. That's totally great. Once I've got one variable, I can sub it back into either equation. Just pick the one with the least negatives. That's what I always do. And then I can solve for y. Again, you just have to tell your teacher what you're doing. So I'm going to sub x is equal to 3 into that first equation. So sub x equal 3 into 1. So all we've got to do there is I've got 3x plus 2y is equal to 17. So that becomes 3 bracket 3 plus 2y is equal to 17. 3 times 3 is 9. So I've got 9 plus 2y equal to 17. Minus 9 from both sides. 2y is equal to 8. Divide by 2y is equal to 4. So I can check these. Right, I can sub in x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4 into both equations and we'll see that both of these are correct, meaning that we definitely got the answer right. So the last step here is you do have to write down your answers as coordinate points. We talked about at the start there how they represent the point of intersection where these two lines meet, so you've got to write that down. It also really helps out because if you've got there at the very end, hey, this is my answer, your teacher won't have to even check to make sure you got full marks. So instead of having them search through to make sure you got it right, just write it down at the very end. The point of intersection is this coordinate. You're definitely going to get full marks. So for this one, we write it as x, y. So that is 3, 4. Done. And that's all we need to do for these ones. In the next video, we're going to see what happens when there's not a super easy elimination. So in that one, we had 2y and minus 2y. But if you're on top of this, you're well on your way to getting these ones right. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you later. Just a quick reminder, there are some free worksheets linked in the description below, as well as the notes from this video. If you've got a second, please like, comment, and subscribe to Quick Math for more content every day. Thanks so much. Have a good one.